Raven has been creating some of the most well-built watches in the micro-brand world for years. Their watches are almost borderline overbuilt, if there is such a thing. The Trekker 39 looks to continue this trend while downsizing one of their most popular models with some additional refinements. The Trekker 39 takes everything great about its big brother and makes it an even better watch. This makes the Trekker 39 one of the best microbrand watches available today, period. Coming in at 39mm wide, 47.5mm lug to lug, and a true on wrist thickness of 11.5mm, the Trekker 39 keeps its wrist presence while also flying under the radar. It won't be as cumbersome as some 40 to 42mm dive watches can be, but it still delivers a robust package. The Trekker 39 features small undercuts on the sides of the case, which greatly cut down on the slab sided look watches without a lot of polishing can have. It keeps the real estate taken up by the Trekker 39 in check. The lugs taper down sharply as they extend towards the tip of the watch, and although there isn't a huge turndown in the lugs, and the case can look a little flat, it does conform well to the wrist. It strikes a great balance between wrist presence and subtlety. The dial design of the Trekker 39 is relatively straightforward. Numerals at the cardinal positions with printed baton markers in between. The handset features a baton hour and minute hand with a shovel style seconds hand. Where the dial and bezel excel is with the loom application. The loom on the Trekker 39 might as well make the watch torch. It glows brightly for an extremely long time. I felt that it even gave my Tudor Pelagos a run for its money in the loom department. If loom is your thing, you're going to love the Trekker 39. Raven opted for a brushed Jubilee style bracelet with a 20 to 16 millimeter taper. Jubilee bracelets may not be for everyone, but I like the look it gives the Trekker 39. It classes the watch up a little without being too flashy. The center links have also been flattened out, which keep the profile low. I was happy to see Raven use female end links for the bracelet, which keeps the lug to lug of the watch true to its stated dimension. I said earlier, the Trekker 39 had a true on-wrist presence of 11.5 millimeters. What does that mean? Something that doesn't get a lot of attention is how the watch sits on the wrist and how much it sinks into your wrist. When it comes to the Trekker 39, I found the measurement to be 11.5 millimeters from the wrist to the top of the crystal, meaning that about 1.5 millimeters of the overall case height of 13 millimeters is concealed by how much the watch sinks into the wrist. This is a dimension you'll see in more of our reviews moving forward, as it gives a better indication of how the watch will stand out from the wearer's wrist. The crown does stick out from the case a little bit more than most wearers are used to. This was a design decision by Raven, and it has no effect on on-wrist comfort. The crown did not lodge itself into my wrist, even if I bent my wrist to extremes. The crown sticking out a little more does provide a great benefit, and that is grip. This is one of the easiest crowns to operate of any watch I've tried. The styling of the dial, case design, and tight tolerances make me wonder why Raven is only charging $750 for this watch. Especially regarding the build quality, it is hard to beat at that price. There are Swiss brands putting out lesser quality and charging more. No watch is perfect, and while there are certain things that may turn someone away from the Trekker 39, like the way the crown extends from the case, the Trekker 39 needs to be tried on to see why it works. This is difficult with most micro brands, and I'm hopeful events like Windup will return soon where prospective buyers can get that opportunity. The Trekker 39 is one of those watches that begs to be worn. It strikes a great balance between tool watch and everyday watch. If you're on the fence, find someone who has one, because I guarantee you will walk away smiling and a wallet that is $750 lighter. Thanks for checking out the video review. For the full written review, head over to watchclicker.com. If you enjoyed this review, please subscribe.